Hey family, welcome back to I Love Me Me Me. So today's question of the day is what are some fun first non-traditional dates? I have 15 of them for you, so stay tuned for that. Welcome back. So 15 first non-traditional dates that are absolutely fun. Let's go ahead and jump in. Okay. So some of these are actually on my bucket list. I still want to do them. Obviously, they're, it's not my first date or anything, but there are still some things that I would love to do. Obviously, these definitely depend on where you are in the country, okay? So the very first one is to take a tour of a cave. Now, if you are claustrophobic or something like that, then this is not for you, okay? But if you are the adventurous type or if you just like to try things at least once in your life just to say that you have tried them, that you have tried it, then this would be something for you. It doesn't have to be like a bat cave or something like that, but Go ahead, get out of your comfort zone. These are the things that you are going to talk about later on. These are the things that you will share with your family and friends. And if you guys make it to having children and grandchildren, absolutely, these are the things that you will share. So get out of your comfort zone. Take a tour of a cave if you can. The second thing is something that I absolutely want to do, which is the escape room. Um, you guys, well, you, you guys absolutely don't know this part about me, but I love Groupon and Living Social. They have the escape room on there all the time. <laughs> I just have yet to do it. Um, but anyway, yes, go and be adventurous and try to get out of the escape room. I actually heard that it was really fun. Um, and so it's something that I do want to do. I just have not done it as of yet. Check it out, Groupon or Living Social, The Escape Room. They have several things that I've seen thus far, so check them out. It looks absolutely fun, and the people that I know have actually already done it said that they had a blast. The third thing, actually, I loved, <laughs> which is a murder mystery dinner. So you basically, you go and have dinner while you're trying to absolutely solve a murder mystery. They have the characters live in front of you. I had a ball doing this. This was a fun, fun, fun date. Number four I have yet to do, which is skydiving. I, I want to do it at least one time. At least one time in my life, this is something I want to knock off my bu bucket list. Of course, I want to be tandem. <laughs> I want to be there so I can say that I have done this. I've seen people that have done this. They put their pictures on Facebook and all of this stuff, and I'm like, I want to do that. I want to do that. I want to do that. Yeah, that's the dance I'm doing. <laughs> Number five, I had so much fun doing this, which is archery. Going out there and lining it up, that bow and arrow is actually a lot harder to pull than than I thought it was, honestly. And I had a ball doing it. And actually, the very first time that I went, they had a competition with us, you know, newbies, right? And then I won the actual competition. It was very funny. I was just like, because I'm very determined. Once I start to get out there, I'm, I'm competitive, I'm competitive. Even if I don't win, I'm competitive, right? If I see that I'm losing, then I'm no longer competitive, <laughs> Number six is karaoke. Go out there and get those lungs the pumping and piping and see what your new friend has going on in the singing department. What are those vocal cords actually sounding like? Do they sound like a horse? Yee! Or do they actually have pipes of goddess like la? Anywho. <laughs> Number seven is to go out and play laser tag. I have so much fun when I've done these. You know what? This whole list is making me want to go back out there and do some things that I have not done in a while because laser tag is absolutely fun as well. I'm loving laser tag. Haven't done that in a while, so I think I might get back out there and do that. Number eight, I had so much fun doing this. Um, cooking class. Get on Groupon Living Social. I cannot say that enough. If you don't know anything about them, then where have you been living? In a, under a rock or what? Anyway, cooking class. The only thing that I will say about Living Social and Groupon is that in my particular area, they don't have a variety of them, but they have enough for you to at least experience this on a first date. Now, if you got some clout and you know a chef and they could come to your house, you know what I mean? If you got some clout like that, that would like, that's a sexy date right there. You invite the girl over or invite the guy over and your chef friend help y'all cook. I'm talking about winning. 
I'm talking about winning. You done won, boo. <laughs> and you have learned some new skills that you can apply later on. Regardless if you're the new boo make it, you, can, you have learned some new skills that you can apply in your own kitchen. Okay. Yes, get those cooking skills up, boo. Okay. The ninth one is massage classes. I actually just found out that they offer these. And uh, I signed up for massage classes so me and my boo could learn how to massage each other instead of always paying. Or at least to be more, um, knocking out some more of those kinks while we at the house instead of always having to drive to go do X, Y, and Z or bringing somebody into the house. We can, we can relax and play on each other, okay? All right, so a massage class. But for your, for your first date, Maybe. Yeah, for your first day, because y'all not massaging each other, you are taking a massage class so you can learn how to massage. So I was trying to think about this one, but yeah, you, you don't massage each other. So this would be okay for a first day. Had to think about that. Depending on the season, number 10, which is apple picking or berry picking. This is something that is just so cute to do. Y'all can go out there and talk a whole lot. Right, you guys can get to know why you're doing an activity that's absolutely gonna take down the nerves a little bit. So go out there and pick some apples, pick some berries. Maybe you are a cook and you can actually cook for your boo at some point. It doesn't have to be the same night, right? You can make them like an apple pie or something, or put apples or berries in a salad. Be very um creative with whatever you're going to pick. Now, again, it depends on the season and where you're at in the country as well, but they offer them as well. Number 11, number 11 actually is kind of iffy for a first date, but I'm going to put it on here anyway, which is to camp out in your backyard. Yeah, again, it's kind of iffy for a first date, but if you are the adventurous type, you were talking about maybe the stars or something, and they set up this campsite for you and camp out in the backyard, that doesn't mean you have to sleep out at the house. You can just go and do this, hee hee ha ha, laugh and talk, and you know, and then you can drive on home if that's what you want to do, but, but you get my drift. This is still something to camp out in the backyard, a definitely non-traditional date. This is definitely not a dinner and movie date, okay? Camping out, yeah. Number 12 is an indoor water park. Now, again, that one could be a little iffy. The reason why I'm saying that is because most of the time you might have on a bathing suit or something like that. Maybe you're not ready to show all your skin like this on the first date, but it could be fun because indoor water parks are huge. And again, you're in the water. So, you know, if you are comfortable enough to do something like this, this could absolutely be a fun date. Or you can absolutely make it like a partner's date. What is it, like two couples or something? And again, just go and have fun. Like, don't worry about your body in this particular date. You know what I mean? If you are the adventurous type, then this would be something for you to do if you're comfortable in your skin, which you should be coming on this channel. Be comfortable in your skin, don't matter what you look like, don't matter how big you are, how skinny you are, you know, all of those cellulite, all those stretch marks, don't matter, boo. Be cool in your own skin because if you don't like you, nobody else is going to like you. I digress. Number 13, I think is really cute. I actually have not done this one in a while, which is to do a photo shoot of your new boo. We all got these cameras. All of us have these cameras. And this could be something that you guys can send each other. So you do a photo shoot of your boo, or the new guy, excuse me, and then he does a photo shoot of the new girl. And then you can send them the pictures. You can do it all at one time, or you can send them over a period of time so they can see how much fun they had with you. Again, these are the memories that I speak about all the time. Do a photo shoot. You got a professional camera in your hand all the time. This, that computer, it's in your hand, it's in your pocket, it's in your purse, it's somewhere near your person all the time. Go have fun. Number 14, again, it depends on where you're at. I'm here in San Diego near the water, and so number 14 is to go whale watching. I've done this a few times. I've seen a, a whale breach, which is basically when he jumps up out of the water, and that was just so awesome and spectacular because... That wasn't even the whale that we were watching. I guess we were around a few whales, and it was a whale off in the distance. So I'm glad that when he decided to jump his butt up, that he didn't. He wasn't close enough to tip tip over our little boat. So, but it was so awesome to see. I was like, whoa, whoa, that that was awesome to see. Um, one of the other times that I went out there, I got sick. <laughs> I was trying to be cute, drinking that wine that they was giving, and I didn't eat. Don't do that though. Don't do that. 
If you don't have your sea legs, don't do what I just said. Because that was not a fun experience. <laughs> Throwing up. That was not sexy. Number 15 is to watch the sunset or sunrise. You have to be, especially for the sun, um, the sunrise, you have to be an early morning portion person or just get out of your comfort zone. Wake up and go and do that. That Again, those memories that I'm talking about, these are some of the things that you can do for the memories. And you'll absolutely have a wonderful time. And then you guys maybe can go and hike afterwards or go to breakfast afterwards. This will be something that you will remember for a lifetime and absolutely have a wonderful time. Whether or not you and the new person actually make it. So family, definitely give me thumbs up or a like depending on what platform you are watching this video on. I absolutely want to read your comments down in the comment section below. What do you do that is a fun, non-traditional first date? I love to read them. Or did you absolutely love my list? What is this? What is it that I missed on my list? Okay, definitely subscribe if this is your very first time here or follow my fan page depending on again which platform you are watching this on. I will see you again tomorrow. Deuces.